Welcome to Houston Center for Photography's five-minute tour of our exhibition, Tools of Revolution. I'm Ashlyn Davis, the Executive Director and Curator of HCP, and this exhibition opened on March 6th as a participating exhibition in the 2020 PhotoFest Biennial. In a broad sense, this exhibition is about the idea that fashion is about visibility. And that was the starting point in putting together this group of artists, beginning with the work of Kwame Brathwaite, a pioneering civil rights era photographer who helped to promote the phrase and ideal that black is beautiful. The exhibition then expands to look at the work of three contemporary photographers who are similarly working at the nexus of fashion and activism for major publications and brands in New York. Brathwaite was born in 1938 in New York, and along with his brother, Alambe Brath, began espousing the political ideas of Marcus Garvey through beauty pageants and photographs celebrating natural models, cultural events promoting buy black and think black ideals, and ultimately made his way into the mainstream culture, particularly through his work with celebrities and musicians like Stevie Wonder, James Brown, and Marvin Gaye. We open the show with this early image of Brathwaite's, which shows a little boy standing outside of the Apollo Theater, looking up at a kiosk advertising a James Brown concert. This image is important because in some ways it foretells the many ways that Brathwaite's later photographs of music icons like Stevie Wonder and Nina Simone would shape a popular image that would then go out and impact culture at large. And as you may remember, James Brown's album, Live at the Apollo from 1962, was a Billboard number no. two bestseller. So you can see from the beginning how the people he was photographing in Harlem at this time would then go out and shape broader national culture. Many of the initial photographs in this exhibition are really trying to illustrate the cultural context that Kwame was working in um, in order to really lay the groundwork for the more well-known studio portraits of Grandasa models that have been widely circulated. This is an example of one of those images. It was the summer of 1963 when the then 25-year-old photographer captured this protest over a white-owned wig shop that opened on Harlem's 125th Street near the Apollo Theater. This is a moment when the Black is Beautiful movement really started to coalesce. Through the photographs of the cultural events that Kwame and his brother organized through their organization, AJAS, the African Jazz Arts Society and Studios, we begin to really see how this movement is pushing back against Eurocentric notions of fashion and beauty. In the same main gallery is the work of Makaya Carter, who's one of the three young photographers included in this exhibition. While Micaiah's work's aesthetic influence stems from his father's scrapbook from the 1970s, there are echoes of Brathwaite's work that are exciting to include in the same gallery space, as if the two generations are speaking directly to one another. The middle gallery includes his new video, Baby Boy, which is projected on a wall um, opposite of Ariel Bob Willis' work and images by Dana Scruggs. Bob Willis and Scruggs are both focused on gestural, emotive bodies. So the viewer moves from a very historical, creative context into a very contemporary interpretation of visibility and artistic output, from the editorial to the conceptual. Scruggs presents a clever defiance of the industry. Her portfolio celebrates the nude form in dancer-like compositions. 
She found it difficult to get editors to notice her images, so she started producing an eponymous publication. By doing this, she was able to speak to representatives as a fellow member of the press, giving herself a platform to be seen. And I think the images on display are embodied with that assertive willpower. And you can see that we included here her magazine, Scruggs. Bob Willis's figures highlight the multiplicity of the subject and the tension between what is presented to the world and what is felt inside. All of the artists in Tools of Revolution are reclaiming the construction and portrayal of the Black body to the Black gaze, a place of collaboration between the Black photographer and the Black subject. To put Brathwaite's work in conversation with a new generation of photographers who are similarly pushing back against the status quo and breaking down barriers in the fashion and editorial industries it was an attempt to really show that Brathwaite's legacy is not over and it's important to understand. It's easy to look at historical photographs and reflect on how far we think we've come. But when we consider these images and really interrogate the present moment, it becomes clear what work there still is to do. And more importantly, that this work will not end as we continue to grow and shift as a society. Houston Center for Photography exists for and because of our community. If you enjoyed this tour, please consider supporting us at www.hcponline.org give. We are especially grateful for your vital support during this unprecedented time.